Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different saga-wide implications as well as revelations in this film that will change our view on some of the major characters like Rey, Kylo Ren, and a whole lot more in this story. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, the most mysterious thing about the sequel trilogy, I think it's pretty safe to say, has all to do with Rey's lineage and exactly who her parents really are and exactly where they really come from. And that's exactly what JJ Abrams will be exploring in Episode 9, as he confirmed over at Star Wars Celebration that there's going to be a, a lot more to the story about Rey's parents and even Rey's lineage that will actually be expanded on in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions. This is where things begin to get very exciting for this movie. Now specifically it's described that one of the scenes that were shot during the month of October 2018 included Daisy Ridley in the Lost City, where it's described that she goes into the Lake of Dreams, which is said to be strong with the Force, where she begins to see more visions of her past. It's said that on set an unnamed actress in her 40s was playing Rey's mother in a white dress where the costume design was described to be labeled as Melinza Sella's COTF dress. The outfit is said to be a long white dress with the hood attached to the back of it, where the actress portraying Rey's mother was wearing the same exact hairstyle as Rey from The Force Awakens. It's said to be a sequence in which Rey sees visions of her past and the things in life that are most emotional to her. Another sequence that was shot involved Rey standing in front of the unnamed actress in the shallow lake, where the vision of her mother opens a necklace with a a device of some kind inside, where where she the prop used on set was dubbed as Melinda's necklace. It's said that Ray's mother in the sequences will be obscure and put in the distance of the lake that will hint and tease aspects of the film that will come later on. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now we do know that the Lost City is going to play a major role in Episode 9. Specifically, you know, the Lake of Dreams is going to be a very important piece for the character of Rey. This is actually said to be the most powerful location within the Lost City with the Force itself that allows Rey to see certain truths about her past where she has to face those truths in order to come to terms with it. And I think what's really interesting about this all by JJ is that, you know, we do know that he's inserting a lot of Jedi lore for the character of Rey in order to move her forward, where he's also doing the same exact thing for Kylo Ren by inserting a lot of Sith-related lore in order to move that character forward. So in this scenario, we actually do get the costume design dubbed as Melinda Sella's COTF outfit. Now, this is described to be Rey's mother's outfit, where Melinda Sella with an S, COTF most likely stands for Church of the Force, if I had to make a guess there. So this whole entire, you know, name that we actually lightly heard about before in the past, now how having the tag next to it called the COTF outfit tells us that once again, it really does connect to what we went over before in the past of Rey's mother being connected to the Church of the Force. Without a doubt, COTF stands for that organization that was actually formed by followers of the Force and protectors of the Jedi lore. A very interesting side of Star Wars that we never got to see on the big screen that was only explored in the books as of today. So the thing here is this, we do know that Rey's parents being nobodies is something that a lot of fans actually either love or hate in The Last Jedi. And J.J. Abrams is going to be expanding off of that in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker into something completely different. Now to me, you know, I'm not quite sure if J.J. Abrams is going to do a full-on retcon, like let's say for example, you know, it's very likely that her parents could be step-parents, where we get to learn about her true bloodline at the very end of the movie, that's a big possibility. But as for Rey's mother here, being dressed in the white dress and having the same exact hairstyle as Rey from The Force Awakens, you can really tell that they're trying to make it clear that this is indeed, you know, Rey's mother in the Lake of Dreams that she is seeing in the form of a vision. So I want to go over visions and whether or not this is a good path to go by Disney and Lucasfilm. I know that some people complain about visions being inserted into this movie, kind of similar to what's happening with the character of Han Solo through the eyes of Ben Solo that's initiated by the Force Ghost of Luke Skywalker. In case you guys did not know, there are going to be a series of vision sequences for Kylo Ren in which he does see his own father being portrayed by Harrison Ford once again during reshoots this June of 2019. 
So like I say guys, this movie has a lot going for it. I think that that was one of the biggest mysteries of all was wondering exactly who Rey's parents really are in The Force Awakens that are now going to be fully answered in Episode 9, which I think is a healthy thing for the sequel trilogy. You know, because at the very least, right, we got to know who Anakin's mother was, which was Shmi. But when it comes to Rey, we really know nothing about her parents at all. And I think that by exploring that side of the story it will make things a lot more interesting for the character and could also even have the potential of explaining exactly why she's so powerful. You know, I'm sure that there's a lot more to the story than what's already been told in both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi that J.J. Abrams is really going to touch on in this movie, hence why Episode 9 will have saga wide implications, you know, that's going to affect the entire Skywalker saga and even some of the major sequel trilogy characters like Rey and Kylo Ren. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy, the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time Yeah.